Hello and welcome to Relax and Sleep Hypnosis Deeply. My name's Jason Newland. My website's jasonnewland.com. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. Just to let you know that there are quite a few different podcasts that I do. Um, I do some whisper podcasts. I do chronic pain podcasts. So uh, a good way to find me is just by going wherever you listen to your podcasts, whether it's Spotify, Apple Podcasts, etc. Just put my name in and a bunch of podcasts will come up. Just, you know, if, if you're interested. So what I'm going to do is ask you to close your eyes and just get yourself centered just notice what you can hear now I can hear the wind it's been windy all day It's probably a little bit less wind than earlier. I can hear my stomach rumbling. I've just eaten, so it can't be because I'm hungry. I can hear faint traffic but because the wind is a lot louder than anything else out there it, it's a it's a siren I don't know if it's, it's police ambulance fire I don't know but I can hear the siren just above the sound now it's gone And that's probably on the motorway. Because there's a motorway a few miles away. How do you physically feel? So as I get in touch with how I feel. Even though the windows are closed... And had to be because of the wind. I kind of feel a sense of a breeze on my face. A cool breeze. And the weird thing about it is as I mention it, it feels... For a second there, it felt almost like it was a breeze blowing on my face. And there's nowhere for a breeze to come from. I've got the door closed, the window's closed. There's no breeze in here at all. But I felt the physical sensation of a slight breeze on my face. That's normally a, a sign that I'm starting to feel relaxed. Starting to calm down in my mind and my body. So are you sitting in a chair or are you lying down? I'm sitting in a chair. I can't lie down and make these recordings because I will fall asleep. And after about six or seven minutes, all you'll hear is me snoring. And nobody wants to hear that. So just notice what parts of your body are touching 
the chair or the bed or if you're lying down on the sofa or the floor, wherever you are, notice what parts of your body are touching. So with my, I've got my back, from my lower back up to the, kind of where my shoulders are, that part of the back, my buttocks, and part of, well, pretty much the whole of the bottom of my thighs. Parts of my calf muscles also are touching the chair, the way my legs are. My arms, from my elbows to my wrists, are resting on the armrests. Which is a good place to rest your arms, by the way. And, uh... I noticed my hands weren't very floppy then. My right hand is actually resting, my, resting partly on my right thigh. It's just, it's kind of my little finger on my right hand is touching my right thigh. But my left one isn't. My feet are touching the ground. So that's, there's a fair degree of groundedness, I suppose. If I choose, I can just push my head back a little bit just a couple of inches, and it rests against the headrest. I'm not sure if that's comfortable or not. It's not uncomfortable, but it feels a bit... It feels a bit strange, because I don't normally rest my head on that. But now I'm doing that, I can, I can feel that it would be fairly easy to drift off to sleep. Which may be the reason you're listening, which is fine, of course. Relax and sleep hypnosis daily. I mean, it's, it, sleeping might be the reason that you are lying down listening to my boring voice so that you let go. All the muscles in your body relax and your mind drifts as your mind slows down. Your mind drifts. And it's the most natural thing in the world because, let's face it, we've been doing this since we were born. Our minds slowing down and drifting. The most natural thing in the world. For everything just to slow down. Slow down. Calm. Peaceful. Deeply relaxed. And everything becomes very slow.
very, very slow. And it may feel kind of strange as you observe your mind slowing down because maybe in the past your mind sometimes would race and run around and maybe seemed almost impossible to follow the thinking patterns and maybe they didn't seem to have any kind of pattern or relevance however as those thoughts do slow down you can maybe start to become aware of the differences between those thoughts that are useful and those thoughts that are harmful, negative, pointless, and not, not useful at all. And you can maybe color code, give a positive color to the useful thoughts and put a color to represent the ones that are not useful, the ones that you don't need in your mind and don't want in your mind. And gather those thoughts together and get them all standing on a trap door. And as you count from three down to one, you can press that lever in your mind and that trap door opens. And all of those negative, pointless, harmful, useless thoughts and thinking can just be sucked out of your mind through that trap door. Three, two, one. Now pull that lever. And notice there's a peace, a calmness that enters your mind. And the good thing is that trapdoor is now there whenever you need it. And that color coding is also there if you choose to continue with that process to start noticing those thoughts that are no longer useful. Maybe they used to be useful in the past, but they're not anymore. In fact, we've already got rid of the negative, harmful ones. But what about those, the ones we were just talking about? The ones that are not, they're not out to harm you. They're not trying to cause problems. They actually care about you. They're trying to help you. Those thoughts are trying to help you, but they're outdated. They're outdated. trying to give you something that you don't need and in the process getting in the way and slowing you down and clogging up 
your mind with nonsense that didn't used to be nonsense, but now it is because you don't need that stuff now. You're an adult. And those thoughts that used to be useful are no longer useful, can be let go. But this way, before you drop them down the trap door, what you can do is thank them. Thank them before you let them go. And let them know you're going to let them go. You're going to You know, you're going to just pull the trapdoor lever and they're going to be sucked away, but gently, nicely. And before you do that, let them know that you're grateful for what they've done for you in the past. You're grateful for what they're trying to do for you now. It's just that they're no longer beneficial or relevant for your life now. So you can say thank you. Let them know that you appreciate what they've done for you in the past, as well as what they're trying to do for you now. You can genuinely just say thank you. And you can have these ideas in your mind, knowing the reason that you're saying thank you. Or you can, in your mind, literally say thank you for everything you've done for me in the past. And thank you for everything that you've been trying to do for me. And you can press that lever. Three, two, one. Press that lever, pull it down. And let those go. Let those feelings and thoughts disappear. Feeling positive that actually you showed respect to them. You thanked them as you realized that not all of the thoughts that are getting in the way of your happiness are there trying to cause you problems. Sometimes they're just outdated no longer relevant no longer useful to you at this time just in the same way there'd be no point having one of those old fashioned big black and white televisions in your living room or in your bedroom because first of all it takes up probably about 20% of the broom because they were big secondly you're never going to use it because you have a television and these days televisions are flat they take up less room you can have them on the wall if you want you wouldn't be able to do that with the old televisions the ones from 30 years ago. Now you wouldn't leave it in the room because it's in the way. You might almost want to keep it around for nostalgic reasons, but it's in the way. There's nowhere to store it. It's of no use. The thing doesn't even work anymore. The bulb went in it, so you can't even get a picture. But that television doesn't know that. It's just there, being a television. But if it's not giving you anything of use, then possibly the best choice of action would be to get rid of that television that old black and white television or it might be a color television you know but it's still old bulky 
and it doesn't work. And as soon as you let it go, you get rid of it, you open up the space in the room. You realize that the room is much bigger than it seemed because with that television, it really took up some space. Just like if you live in a small bedroom, you have a smaller bed. If you don't have enough room in your bedroom for a double bed, you don't have a double bed. It's as simple as that. You have a single bed. Some people have, will have a double bed, but they literally can't even open the door. Have to take the door off the frame and have to climb across the mattress to get out of the door. No room for wardrobes, drawers, nothing like that. Because they're determined to have a double bed. And it doesn't work. But some people continue because they won't give up and they're going to do it anyway. And if someone does, if it doesn't work, and it's inconvenient and it gets in the way of your progress, your comfort. Because it's okay feeling relaxed and you've got this double bed and it's great, but it's not very comfortable if you can't close the bedroom door or if you have to, you know, find your way off the bed and there's no room to do anything. Comfort sometimes is really, it's really important. I think, I think we all need some comfort at times. Not all the time. Life isn't, it's not realistic to expect to feel comfortable all the time, every day, every night, you know, life isn't, that's not realistic. But to have comfort when you choose to relax deeply and let go of everything. And saying thank you to those thoughts that are outdated, even though they were there to help you, they just weren't relevant anymore. So to say thank you and to let them go, Freeze up your mind. So you can relax more deeply. And you may not even realize or understand why you feel more relaxed. Perhaps internally you were worried about those thoughts and those parts of you. Because it's from the past. Maybe they reminded you of stuff from the past. But now they're no longer there, you can just enjoy the present moment and you can look forward to the future, which is created by you. The past is remembered by you, the future is created by you. And you can keep this feeling of comfort and relaxation spreading through your body and your mind, becoming stronger, more relaxed, more peaceful. Just sink in. The muscles relaxing so deeply. your skin, feeling almost like it's healing in the moment, the skin all over your body, healing, purifying,
the bones in your body, healing and strengthening, calm and relaxed, so very peaceful, so very peaceful. Calm and relaxed. Calm and relaxed. <laughs> <laughs>